Hey guys, thought I'd give you a quick update of my son's uh, Chevy C10 project. I've uh, done quite a bit of little things to it since I last posted. Uh, one of the things you see is I took the emblem off here and painted it black and red. Just got through working under the hood a little bit. Uh, right after the other video, we put an Edelbrock carburetor. And I had this diamond-plated aluminum, made him a custom air breather. I put all new radiator and heater hoses on it, fresh uh, antifreeze in it, put new belts on it. I just got through replacing the valve cover gaskets, and I went ahead and adjusted the valves while I had those off. They were clicking a little bit. Sounds nice and smooth now. My neighbor that sold him the truck gave him this Ooga horn. He just loves that. Come around the side here, and I put new tires on it. Got my step stool there in the way. Put new tires on it. I didn't get to go with the 255. The 255 was just going to be more than I wanted to put into it, so we went back 235. Looked pretty good. We painted the wheels red. We've been painting the body just a satin black for now. We are going to go satin black on the truck, but I've just been rattle can painting it. Kind of stopped the rust till we can get the body work done. We took the drip rails off around the doors, but I, I don't know, may end up putting those back. And around back, he took the insert cover off. He said he liked it better without. This side of the bed is going to need some major work. And then to, here in just a little bit, I'm getting ready to sand this door and fender and paint it the uh, satin black. And the top is primered. It had surface rust on it. We got it primered. I got to paint it. I got a cruise in downtown today. We're thinking about riding down there for a little bit. Not much inside as far as changes. I did wire his radio up, got it playing, but... Got it laying in the floor. I pulled the speedometer cable out and lubed it. It was making a noise and bouncing. Got that taken care of. And I don't know if I told you before, we do not want to cut the dash. We're going to try to find a factory radio to put in there just for looks and then build a custom console down here uh, to put his stereo in. The other day we turned 65,000 miles on this thing. That is original. I said in the other video 165, but it is 65 original miles. In fact, I talked to the mechanic at the GM dealer who used to work at the GM dealer who checked this car in when it was new. He remembers selling it to the gentleman. That was pretty cool. And so we're just one little project at a time on this thing. It's... uh. It's a fun little truck, but getting it running good, it's purring now. Uh, it had, right after we got it going, had a rough idle to it, and just driving it has smoothed it out a lot. I've changed the oil twice in it now, and I'm thinking about doing it again, but uh, especially since doing those valve covers and adjusting the valves. Uh, the coolant that came out of it looked really good, but I went ahead and put new back in. One of the heater hoses, this one on top of the, um, this one right here, right down where the clamp is, was leaking. So it was just paper thin. It was rotted. Anyway, it's a fun little project. Oh, something else. While we're back up here in the front, uh, we took the bumper guards off. And uh, I think that gives it a cleaner look. I think he's going to go just a real clean look on the truck no molding uh, satin black with the red wheels we got to paint these wheels i don't know that we'll get those done today or not but we're getting there we're getting there just takes one step at a time all right i'm gonna end this one here i'll post more later